Oh, uh, all right, there we go. There we go. Okay. Whatever, OBS. How's it going, Grand? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah, mic still works. At streams medium, at Minecraft content. Let's finish up there today. Awesome. Give me five minutes. Oh, oh, so like, start the stream math. Where's the stream math? We need to start the stream math. Now that we're started, I see how it is, Grand. Oh. That should wake me up pretty well. All right. We've announced ourselves to the server. I don't know if anyone's noticed. I don't know if they have. Oh, shoot. I have a feeling it's not supposed to do this. Just, just a feeling. I don't know what you give me that feeling, but. What do you want, Asky? Hmm. I gotta think about this. How to put it back together. Come on, man. This chair wasn't cheap either, and now the armrest is already broken. I knew the armrests were the first thing. We do fair today. Yeah, we are. I know it's gonna be the first thing that breaks. Still, it's hoping I had a bit longer. Mmm. I wonder. I kind of want to do some disassembly on the stream. You guys aren't going to be able to see a thing, though, unfortunately. Great, this great screwdriver from the hardware store. Minecraft ambient sounds, please be quiet. Here we go, this is the one. Got a nice big bit on it. So then I should just have to unscrew these. Actually, I wanna change my mind. We're at the pointed bit, not the um not the flat at the end. Oh, those are some nasty screws. Look at this thing. This is in my chair. That's like a that's a sharp point or whatever, like even like decking screws and stuff that I've seen before. They don't look as nasty as that. These are um, not friendly screws. Okay. Now my hope is... Oh my god, there's a spring. I hate springs. They make things so difficult to reassemble. So we got this little bit here. Which is in here right now, right? So I gotta slide that in there. And then I'll have a bolt to put down on the end here. Um, unfortunately, I'm realizing the impossibility of this situation. So I need to put the bolts on here, right? Screw it in, not a problem. But 
I need the other screws to come from the other side of this panel here to screw into the chair. So like what? That comes up, but that's not helpful. I could lift this little part out. How in the world do I get the other side of those? Does that come out? Does the sheath come off? The sheath does not seem to come off. Oh, come on, screwdriver, I wish you were magnetic. Uh, it looks like asking is help climbing something. Are you in stream chat? Ask, I can help you there. Can bring out one of the small tips, so I'm actually able to... Oh! Okay, we got it. This is the bolt that goes on the end. That goes... In there. Is that a max claim count? There is. It's like 12 chunks, unless you're not part of something else. Wait, what? How... How the heck are you supposed to screw this? Maybe I can push down on these pins to get them out. I have to admit some defeat. Hmm. I'm going to have to put this off to the side, because I'm not going to be able to figure this out today. Alright, I think I'm going to have to unscrew this bit. It looks like there's a bottom part. And then there's um this part. So I'll have to unscrew this, so I can get this on easily. Which that might actually be backwards right now. It's going to be fun to put this thing back together. I'll definitely figure it out, though. Oh, I hate that smell. It's like that... You get, like, screws and stuff that you're handling. You get, like, a metallic smell. All right. Where did the other bit go? It's... And hopefully I don't stab myself on it too bad today. I am super glad that this is like actually fixable though, like compared to the Switch controllers, like that's easy to assemble and disassemble and everything. So Alright, I'm gonna get to work. So ASCII is having issues claiming. ASCII is dying to something. Who the heck, what is this? Oh, this is ASCII? Okay, I'm not going to question it too much. So, um, ASCII, in general, you're going to need to make more money in order to claim blocks. Um, I knew some tiny admin shenanigans. How's it going, Neros? Uh, town, set, mayor, who is my friend who hasn't logged on in a bit? Muller Hertz. Confirm. Um, tiny admin... Town. Ask whose town is Bing Bong. Add myself. T leave. Confirm. Add myself as admin of Askey's town. Townie admin. 
town, bing bong, town, set, mayor, master eight, nine, eight. Wait, set, mayor, math, three, eight, nine, eight. Confirm. I am now the mayor of Askew's town. Let's see here. So, four bonus blocks overclaimed by seven. Now, look at media. Give me a minute, Neros. I still got a spring. All right, T claim. So, you're overclaimed, and you also need to buy. Town cannot afford to buy one bonus town blocks, costing 253. Add more money into the town bank. How much money you got, ASCII? Should I just take all of it for you? Essentially, you need to do slash T deposit however much money you're willing to power it with, and then T buy bonus. And you probably aren't going to be able to claim this entire area. This is pretty big, but you'll be able to get your walls at least, I think. Make sense, Aski? And this is probably your size limit, so. I just opened this room. Uh, completely missed the fact I made myself as mayor. Okay, so ASCII, run slash T deposit, however much money you're willing to part with. You probably aren't gonna be able to claim all of this. You probably don't have enough money yet. Then you're gonna do slash T by bonus, however many you can, and then you're gonna run along the longer. Along the wall and do like slash T claim as you go. I don't think Neros has been AFK grinding. He was for a little bit, but I kicked him and he's been honorable since then, I think. He has 270 levels. What do you mean 200? Oh, he sent a screenshot. Okay. Oh my god, Neros. That's a lot. I can't claim anything because you have to do slash T by bonus. You won't be able to buy like a million, but you'll be able to buy some. You did? No, you didn't. Wait, you did. Okay. So you should be able to buy one block, right? No, bonus was seven. So you're overclaimed by two right now. So you need to buy two more as bonuses, and then you can claim stuff as you buy bonuses. Yeah. Are you part of a nation? No, you're not part of a nation. So let me... Um... Um, townie, admin, town, my town, add, master, eight, nine, eight. Sorry, part, I did slash T, leave. Your nation probably fell to ruin if you didn't give it any money. Oh, sorry, slash set, mayor. There you go. So you do that and you'll get 10 extra blocks. What's going on, shark? So now you should have 10 extra blocks. Yeah. 
Wait, why does it say 27 out of 27? Try to buy buy one more bonus just to make sure. Nothing math. Yeah, you need one more bonus block. What is what is Shark up to? What the heck? What the heck? Beautiful view up here. I think it looks really nice. Other than that, I haven't I actually haven't loaded that in. I've been there yet essentially is what it means with distant horizons. But this over here, like look. Okay, this looks really cool actually. <clears throat> this looks awesome. Oh. Oh, and Grant actually has an Elytra. Hey, you don't have Distant Horizons. Try to get this with Bobby Mod. Sorry. I hear people talk about Bobby Mod, and it's like... You can't get this with Bobby Mod. Can only claim one? What do you mean? Do you not have... You should have enough money. Yeah, yeah. So you have to buy a bonus each time for the block. Oh my god, you're telling me I have to one by one it? Oh my god. You can buy multiple bonuses at the same time, ASCII. Ouch. That's funny. Can it cost so much? I recommend Zoom Mod. I have Zoom Mod. Or are you guys talking about something else? Yeah, because I died an unhonorable death, Grand. I wasn't in combat with anyone. If I was in combat, I wouldn't have dropped anything. It cost 7k coins for two claims? What? It shouldn't. Type slash T buy bonus. And I spent 10k already? No, you have 3k still in the- What? So ASCII is poor. But he should be able to claim... Right, right slash T bonus. T, uh, T by bonus. What does it tell you? Yeah, because I'm at 75 for my next one. You should not be that much. Man, is basically going to be huge, though. Let me pull up a map. Map.darkstarmc.net. Max 200. But what does it tell you for your cost? I don't care about max, just what's the cost? Dude, this thing's massive on the map. I told you. Uh, send me a screenshot. That's ridiculous. There's, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Uh, can you add wheat and seeds? I can just give you like a stack of seeds, Grant. No cells. Oh! Good idea. I like it. Let's go on the list. Task add project. Dark Star MC. Stream tag. Add wheat and seeds to slash to um to add store for selling. Cool stuff. Add e pearls to shop. Uh E pearls, rotten flesh. Mm. 
T take a screenshot, Aski. Take a screenshot. Oh, you can't take a screenshot? Okay. Yeah, Neuros didn't claim his very well. Let's see if I can get the uh, get the map on stream. Oh, that's the server IP. I'm not doxing anyone. So let me switch on over to the end. So this is Neuros's end base. And each one of these is a uh, is an outpost. So he's got like seven outpost teleports in the end, and like half these might be on the void. <laughs> Whereas if we go back to like another outpost that's done correctly, uh, we can look over here. There's only one outpost for this whole area. That's uh, that's where I'm gonna build my main base actually. Uh, map dot darkstar darkstarmc dot net. Let me add Discord as a pinned message. I'm getting better, Neros. I didn't need you to tell me. Yeah, you probably are, Grand. So I've been using this e-table until I had one. I think everyone's been using everyone else's e-table for a while. Actually, how close are we? Am I over there? Might be over there. Okay, let's look at the screenshot from ASCII. Uh, did I get a screenshot? It's not a DM or in the server ASCII. Maybe that's just uploading. Oh, here we go. I see it. Wait, what? I might need to bring out some spreadsheets. That is... Alright, forgive me, this is going to be absolutely terrible. I am familiar with spreadsheet software. I do not use it all the time, every single day. I just dabbed myself in my broken chair. Um, so that's monitor, that's monitor, that's Discord, that's live stream. It's actually not showing up. I actually can't show you guys. What? Yeah, something's weird, ASCII. I'm going to try to fix it. All right, there we go. There we go, spreadsheet program. Let's go. Let me zoom in. Can I zoom in? There we go. So starting price is 50, right? And each time the price increases by 50%. So there's a couple different ways that this could be calculated. The way I would probably do this is my multiplying by 1.5. So this is equal C2 times 1.5. All right, so ASCII is here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's funny. Spreadsheets. Good stuff.
Let's try a less aggressive curve. Let's try let's try 1.10. So now we're going to multiply this by a static d1. And then copy that pattern down. Um right this way. Network, C2, C3. Okay, how does that work for a curve ASCII? I feel like this is fairly fair. Especially as opposed to... Let's do this one real quick. F1 and G1, that's right, yep. Look at media stop being annoying. I did, Neuros. He's got 270 levels and five netherite blocks. <laughs> oh my god. All right, and so then how much do I owe you? So you're you've paid this tier, right? So let's go to these two. What is the sum of these? Sum of these. So you've paid $6,000, roughly, in order to buy all the chunks that you've currently bought, right? Now, you would actually have paid with the better scaling system, because let's be honest, that my 50% was a little bit ridiculous. I, um, I wasn't expecting it to get out of that hand. Is equal to uh, this... Minus this. Um, other way around. I owe ASCII $4,869. Excuse me. The economy. Give ASCII ASCII. Four thousand. Eight hundred and sixty nine dollars. And let me fix these prices. <laughs> I probably should have done that. I should have probably done that when I chose the 50%. What about the claims I bought? How many claims have you bought, Neros? Neros has bought six. Okay. So now I gotta refund Neros. Well, yeah, read Neros too. I'll refund Neros. Anyone else? Anyone else? Any claims on refunds? Actually, I'm gonna T list by um, size, right? Town blocks. Bing Bong has most. I have second most. Baghdad duck. Okay, so after Neros, that should be it. I have nine. I have nine outposts. What do you mean? That hurts my arm. Oh my god. Nine? Nine Neros? Oh my god. You only you only need to make like one chunk of outpost and the rest can just be like normal claims. Oh hi friend. I don't want to deal with you. Okay. I should probably chop down these trees eventually. Uh, slash T outpost? Slash T claim outpost, I think? Never told me that. Well, I'm sorry, Neros. I just... I'm assuming proficiency in townie, and I probably should not be assuming, assuming proficiency in townie. Especially because I forgot that compound interest is a thing. <laughs> Basically. Hey, Grand. How's it going? Are you gonna... As long as you don't grief my cave, I don't mind. See all the resources. As long as it looks like a cave at the end, I'm happy. Wait, this is the surface? What the heck? I didn't even realize that when I started building this. All right, so we got a... So we've refunded ASCII. Let's refund Neros. Let me pull back up my spreadsheet. Now it's 50 at 1.5. This is equal to D1 times E 
static one. Scale this down. Versus 50 of 1.1. Same dealio is equal to F1 times G static one. Drag this one down. Uh, so how many claims does Neros have? How many bonus blocks? Neros has six bonus blocks. So I owe Neros like 300 bucks. That's not an economy breaking. There you go, Neros. New balance, 30,000. 30, oh, uh, Nero spent a lot of money. Must be all those, um... Oh, it's another right blocks he was showing off. Let me then fix this townie price. CD, um, network, townie, plugins, vim, townie, uh, settings, config, purchased, um, okay. You know what, I'm gonna set a maximum. What's the maximum plot price? Let's say, I'll say 1,000. Uh, Tiny Admin Reload? Okay, what's your new bonus price, ASCII? One hundred twenty-nine. Is that fair? Can you can you afford that? All right. So um, I wanted to highlight something. I probably should have said, said something about this in the Discord, but um, I removed armor durability loss, and that's because um, gold and leather just break way too quickly. And so it's like, I could probably add something to make them last as long as diamond, but I just figured I'd make it so that way armor doesn't lose durability. It's just a much easier way to do things for me. Why not also tools? That is a good point, Grand. I thought about it. I totally could. I guess I kind of want the unbreakable tools to be boss straps to some extent. And because like nothing forces you to like a, use like a wooden pickaxe or something. No, add wheat to shop. I can add wheat to shop for you. How much does bread cost? Then economy, shop GUI, sections. What section should this be under? Can I just put it under food? Like, that makes things easy for me. Alright, so bread is $15. You can you can sell bread! You can sell bad bread, Grand. I'll add seeds, though. Okay, so essentially a wheat is worth five. So maybe a seed is worth one. And I'll be nice, sell is one for seeds too, because otherwise it'd be zero. Well, basically zero, it'd be like one cent per, but that's too low. And then Neros wants Ender Pearls. I'll put them under materials.
Oh, uh, bye. Right, how does that look for prices? So wheat seeds buy sell one. For wheat you can sell bread. And then for um ender pearls. Thirty bonus? Oh my god. Ask is popping off. Nero's gonna be even richer. Yeah, that's true. Should I make it even lower? Make it like a dollar each. <laughs> yeah, but he only gets ten thousand dollars that way. Oh my god, that bat looks super scary for a second. All right, one dollar for Ender Pearl. I just look at console and I see nothing but like T claim, T claim, T claim from um, ASCII. It's like what? All right, there we go. They're one dollar each. No, make Ender Pearl sellable. Like the thing is that you're gonna have like a this is like a useless item. So you like you want some way to get rid of it other than just like dumping it in the void. So it doesn't just take over our economy. I don't think it's gonna take over the economy, Shark. Well, what if bosses gave you like a thousand dollars per kill? Or like a random fetch quest for like 25 bread gives you like two thousand dollars. Like we can break the economy and not make under pearl super overpowered. It might be a little overpowered for a bit, but you get two to three under pearls per guy. So he gets two to three extra dollars. Per guy he kills. Five under pros per second. So five dollars per second. But you're going to tell me that that matters more than the hunter job? Kill Enderman. One dollar. Okay, okay. Hmm. Five k an hour for selling Ender Pearls. Looking at numbers, definitely making me think. Probably go fight cross. Yeah. With one simple farm. Wait, seven people are crafters? And we got 11 builders, wow. So yeah, I decided to go with farmer, enchanter, and woodcutter. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to think what the ramifications of having that level of income is, other than just general competition for Bell Top. It's like a hundred. Yeah, the right diamonds. No, oh, Grand, my 300% bonus. How could you? you no, know, yeah, farmer pays really good right now, actually. Same bug as yesterday. Okay, I can restart the server for you. What's going on is it's a socket related connection. And sockets are essentially just like a type of connection to servers. And um, you can restart your end, but the server still kind of like thinks it has an open socket to you or something like that, is my guess. And so like restarting your end won't always resolve it. You could try to wait for the timeout. I don't know how long that might be. It might be like five minutes. Be a be a random number to guess. They hate my French Wi-Fi. Your French Wi-Fi should still be better than US Wi-Fi. I find it funny how slow our internet is as soon as like you leave like a major town. And apparently most of the US is kind of like Iowa as far as... As soon as you leave the... Uh, the urban center is your Wi-Fi it goes absolutely terrible. I'll restart it for you. And that should solve it for you. For you. So a hundred thousand hundred thousand dollars per hour with a simple farm. Is there any current setups that can get comparable. I guess, how much is it from just the hunter job? Really good farm. You know, a farm is like 50K an hour for the number of endermen. But add the ender pearls on top is 150K per hour. When our hunter is 12k, so I should nerf Ender Pearls down to like $10,000 an hour. So that'd be like 10 cents per Ender Pearl. I could do that. I could do that. We're already almost an hour into the stream, and I haven't touched the code for Faerith. Fireball Rain. Wait, what is... Okay, so I have phases. What the heck am I doing? So I need wave attack. Find spot, particles, vert, die armor, entity damaged, entity hit. Uh, what 
the heck am I doing with phases? We're just never gonna phase two or well, three. Okay, I see. Yeah, that'll work. All right, servers back up. Nero's already into the shop. I have to make the change quick. Shops, materials, Ender Pearl, 0 0.1, right quit, screen R, S, reload. Okay, we're saved. Have you seen your blaze farm? I have not seen your blaze farm yet. I'm gonna hope that things are lagging just because there's a lot of IO going on. And once the IO quiet down, quiet down, it'll be better. Uh, for spawner prices, white shark. It's outdated because of inflation already. As we're just having sold a whole chest for 100 coins. I read it earlier. You're thinking like around 100,000 essentially for a spawner. Twenty-seven times sixteen. Uh, 27 is 3, so that'd be 48 times 9, 3,600. What? No, nah, there isn't a way, Neros. You made more than that. Alright, gunpowder to the shop real quick. Gunpowder would be nice. How's it going, Ollie? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Make sure you will pay upkeep, Asky. You have 50 blocks. You have 50 chunks. How do I allow mobs in my base? Slash, there's two different ways. Yeah. There's two ways. You can do T-toggle mobs. They'll turn on mobs for your entire town. Or you can do slash plot toggle mobs. And they'll do it for, just for the plot. And uh, one plot is one chunk. Matt, can you add gunpowder to the shop real quick? What would be a good price for gunpowder, you think? 100 might be too much. Is 50 alright? 5 coins each. Where are the zombie going to spawn? Oh. Twenty each. I think 20 sounds about right. I like I'm putter as soon as I'm done mining this. My whole forest here. So can you increase the sell price of diamonds? I probably can. Do not, says Shark. Why not, Shark? What's the reason not to increase the sell price of diamonds? Oh, hi, friend. Has this OP. I 
Because it's easy to get a stack of diamonds. I guess the, um... The value of diamonds really depends on the player a lot. A lot of players will value diamonds fairly high, and a lot of players will value diamonds pretty low. It just kind of has to do with, like, Fortune 3 and then, um... Strip mining, basically. You can get a ton of diamonds. Is that a haste spider? What the heck does haste do on a spider? I don't think it does anything really, does it? I have not added gunpowder yet, Neros. I'm about to add gunpowder. Deforestation successful. That's a lot of wood. And I'm not even using birch to build with in my base. Oh man, I chant the skeletons. Ow. Already spawned. Uh, we probably need to pick up any more. We got like two stacks of saplings. Oh my god, look at this guy. What do you- <laughs> Grant! <laughs> oh my god. What a guy. Look at this guy. Oh! Despawn! Did I get him? Did he despawn? I think he despawned. Okay. Oh, man. Awesome. And then breed cows, and then I'll finally work on Ferris, I think. Okay. I help you, Grand? So you just gonna summon more bosses? Yeah, I just summoning more bosses. I mean, I really don't mind. I need to kill a few of these. Oh my god, why are they all Iris? Oh my god. Oh. 
Why is that? Oh my god. Why, Grand? Why? <laughs> Why? Ah, oh, I'm in my town. Lucky. <laughs> uh. I'm beginning to see the griefing potential of the uh, the boss spawns. I mean, you killed all my chickens. Oh my god. Where the guy, man? What a guy. All right, so let's see what ASCII is up to. ASCII looks like he's working on his base. Is this finally fully claimed? Okay, I think things are picking back up. ASCII's base, I'm happy to announce, appears fully claimed. A a never mind, asterisk. Asterisk. This part over here is not claimed. The rest of it's claimed. ASCII's got a shulker box. I need to get shulker boxes. All right, gunpowder added to slash shop for 20 each. I can do that. Shops, materials, 11. Material, gun, powder, buy for 20, sell for two. Right, quit. S reload. How does that look? Sweet. Wait, what the heck's going on here? Um, I can't tell what's going on here. Oh, this was somebody's base after Bingus 3300, 133. All right. I gotta actually do some code because otherwise I'm not gonna be doing code today. So, whoops, I don't want to do try catch. Get that out of here. I want to get rid of phase three. We're not going to do anything for phase three. We're going to have two phases to the boss. 
So when the boss's health gets below 40%, we're going to enter phase 2. Let's uh, make this a little bit lower. We're going to make it 30%. And essentially, we choose two attacks. Choose a fireball attack, a lightning attack, or a wave attack. Um, basically, we just choose two. I can make this a little bit more efficient. Let's... Um... Alright, so this runs as a loop all the way around... Okay, I think that's fine. So... Yeah, Asky? Have a good free math? Don't worry about it, Asky. Uh, it's probably a shocker, right? Yeah, I'm good. I appreciate the offer, though. So, for the final and third favorite attack... I want it to be similar to this. Which essentially is just like an aura of thorns attack. And it just deals damage to everyone around. Super plain basic. I look I look really red. Either I'm red or I'm white. There's some in between. So, I could just copy the code over for this, and it will be good. And I'm kind of tempted to do that. Or do you guys want something a little bit cooler other than just... Fair with some as an aura around him that hurts to walk into? Um, I should probably summon Faerith. So, like, currently, he just kind of teleports around and casts three different spells. So he's got a lightning attack. He's got a fireball attack. That was the second fireball. I don't know why he didn't shoot me. And this would be the green thorns. Really, it's my thought. I think thorns will work all right. I think thorns will be fine. So, actually, I'm going to do this really simply. I'm going to go into my items for the Thorn Weaver, and I'm just going to copy this. Uh, it works. So, I might as well use it. Alright. So, I need to worry about last used. I need to all this. Not a problem. This is Entity. I don't need UUID, actually, I don't think. Let's get location. Alright, so this is going to delay for zero seconds and then run every seven seconds. That's the sound thing. Do I have... I have this base damage. I don't have any other damage factors that I can just increase. Alright, so I don't need... I don't need this. I need location. So this is the particles. I don't need this one. I do need this one. Okay, so for each entity, if it does not equal get entity, and it's an instance of living entity, we want to damage it by two.
So how fast do we teleport? How fast is the cycle? So the cycle is four seconds. Bam. That's all we need to do, I think. Yeah, I need to do something else for advanced damage. I think that's it, though. Other than just, I was kind of a, an idiot when I... Why I did things. So why do I need get instance? I shouldn't need get instance, should I? Oh, I do need get instance. Never mind. And then how do I do boss drops and iris? So I should it set some kind of like specific damage values. So I make an array of boss drops. That's easy to do. And then I... I override get boss drops or implement get boss drops. Um, I want to generate override custom mob Where is it? I don't see it. Where is this used? Sorry, wrong one. Uh, get boss drops, where are you used? You're used in get boss items. Which is used in the items manager. But when, when do actual mob drops work? Player log and player quit, entity damage, mob death. Okay, here it is. I think, right? No, that's boss. Handle drops, handle drops. So where is Iris? On death, right here, okay. So I'm having it override. That's such a dumb way to do it. Man, I was an idiot. When did I write this? I was an idiot in 2022. I still am, but I'm less of an idiot. Iris boss drops. Why is it static? Okay, and how do I do this? I know why it wasn't stupid. I did it specifically in a way that was stupid. Okay. Um, I actually don't need to pass anything to that custom mob, do I? Entity death event. Oh no, I'm looking at this one right here. Okay, all right. Um, sure, sure, I'll leave it the same. I don't think that matters a ton. So boss drops, I need to create boss drops. And then I think we're good. Uh, 
Um. Private, static, final, item stack? No, boss, drop, array. And how do I define a boss drop? So a boss drop is an item with the item's rarity. Okay. That's really easy to do, actually. So your item manager dot. Item manager. Why is it? Give me my context. This is items manager. I want item manager. How in the world did I do this? What? All right, so item manager is initialized as an instance. Then where do I get the instance? That's so dumb. That's actually so dumb. Why did I do that? Actually super dumb. All right, so Thornweaver, Fire Gemstone. And then the final one is, I don't have a lore item actually. So I have to write a lore item. All right, let's give it a go. File size is up two kilobytes. Let's, uh, we're gonna make Minecraft big for this. This is my testing server. There are other plugins on it that I sh probably shouldn't show you. Um, I have no intention to. All right. We're gonna play as Paladin, I guess. That'll be a fun one. Uh, RPG give math. Ferris spawn one. Two seconds, 41 seconds. We're going to wait just a little bit. Uh, however powered do we want to be? I'm going to want to be a little overpowered, I think. It does not currently shark. I should that I should add that though. Task add project RPG plus stream looting effects boss common drops. You think or do you think they shouldn't? It's like, I figure they probably should, but like, not like the boss custom items, just the like bones and. So it took me an hour for nothing. They 100% should. Hmm. 
Mm, I don't know. So the fireball missed. I might have to fix that a little bit. Dude just dipped. <laughs> okay, we're in a town. What took you an hour for nothing, Shark? I'm trying to figure out the reasoning you're upset or whatever. Okay, so that's the... Th okay, so there's a bug with our thorns code. Okay, so it looks like the damage is done right. I could increase the damage by quite a bit. But the particles are in the wrong location. It doesn't affect. Okay. Oh, whoops. That's the full source. We want that to be full screen. Congratulations, Neros. Congratulations. Okay, we want to change this up a little bit, I think. This has to do with the quirkiness of um, Lambda expressions and stuff. I don't feel like explaining it, but... Um, I'm not going to. That's my decision. I'm not going to explain it. Quirkiness of Lambda Expressions. Don't worry about it. Did I misspell Entities? Yes, is. Okay, there we go. And then do I need to do anything to that? That looks good. Probably do Entity here. Task cancel, four seconds, we'll see. And drops didn't work at all. What are the drops? Currently there are two Ferrith drops. I have to design the other two. The other three probably, including armor. We have the fire gemstone that I still have to implement the magic power part of it. And then we have the, where is it at? The thorn weaver, which um, is actually pretty much fully imp implemented. Um, I mean, it's implemented as far as what we need. Um, I can show these off a little bit then, I guess, for you near us. So this is just like a raw attack damage steroid when it's in your offhand. It's always gonna do the same thing for magic damage. But like, your attack speed is insane with the um, ceremonial knife. Like, for reference, let's pull out, like, a normal sword. So that's a normal sword swing speed with the gem. And here's the, the knife with the gem. And then here's the sword without the gem. Like... So I'm, I'm a little worried that it might be, it might be a lot of DPS. And then this one is just an AOE, it's just an AOE damage. So like, let's um, let's give me, give me like 20 Krusk minions. I think it's somewhat nice. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna save you, but. 
I think it's kind of nice. Here's what I usually do when I access someone way too many mobs. I just alt tab and I leave them. <laughs> Alright, I guess uh, we gotta test this, don't we? Figure out what's going on here. So if our entity name equals the custom name, if it contains the custom name, sorry, which is defined here. Then we do our drops. We do the handle drops, which gets rid of everything. We get a new random, and we do that. So how does custom mob drops work again? Handle drops, so it gets rid of all the drops and the XP. It sets the dropped XP to a certain amount based off the rarity. We get a random, we roll. We have a check. So then why didn't... I have a theory. I want to test. I think... There's just a chance. Have a good one, Grand. Thanks for stopping by. I think there's a chance... That just Faerith doesn't drop anything. So I think we kill him a couple times... I will be good. I think he also breaks if there's multiple AIs. I guess we're about to find out. Okay, so that one did work. That one worked. That one worked. That one worked. Okay. So we're just super unlucky with the first one. Um, I'm going to wager about we were super unlucky with the first one. And so we're good to go. Uh, I want to change that to plus 25 magic power. And then we can design the other items. I want to do like a lightning totem. And we need armor, I guess, too. What do you guys think for armor from uh, Faerith? Like, what armor type should he drop and like how much of it? Like, math on board. I'm sorry, Neros, this is the boring side of the server. We're almost done. Do we need more diamond armor? What do we need? Um, how about diamond armor that increases magic power? I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, diamond armor that increases magic power. Because then it's limited to just, like, it'd be limited to, like, Bard, Pyromancer, and, like, certain pieces could be used with Berserker. And those are our two caster classes right now. So, I guess Paladin's a caster class too, but they need gold armor, which, um, I'll have the next boss drop gold armor. Uh, my thoughts is that Paladin should be a tank, so um, they actually take a damage penalty, and it's um, so, like I wasn't able to one-shot the creeper there. But they take like half damage. Which I think is kind of nice.
Still not enough to fight Krusk, though, unfortunately. I'll probably have to nerf Krusk. Alright, diamond armor. What should we call it? What is, like... We need, like, an elven armor set name type of deal, you know? Because, like, this is supposed to be, like, an elven theme. Unless maybe Faerith isn't really... I mean, he's kind of elvish themed. But, like, in the same vein, he's not really elven themed. I guess pretty much everything's elven themed. Eris is most definitely elven themed. Um, magic armor names. I should just look up synonyms for like hood and stuff or cloak. Wrathful vest of fortune. Undead chainmail chest piece. Um, light chess. This is a. Uh, so every good name is made. Let me show this to you. Vest of Holy Knight. Robes of Haunted Protection. So I like robes. So let's go. Synonyms for robes. A dishada? A kaftan? What? A man's long belted tunic worn in countries of the Near East. Oh! So here's the chest plate name. Um, these all, yeah, these all look like chest plates. Do I have a different one? Where's my armor generators? So we need boots, we need a helmet, we need leggings. Treads, foot pads, treads, renters? Challenger feet of war. Footsteps of the daywalker. They could be scaled boots. Or padded. Floss sandals. Hmm. Jandals. <laughs> Loafer. <laughs> I like clog. So, um, my understanding of what a clog is. I, guess, I don't know if it's Irish. I just, there's an Irish guy who had these. Um... These things. All right. Light helms. Ominous glory. Leather. What the heck is this for a word? I want to, I want to highlight. Let me highlight. Okay, I think we'll use this one. Robes, leggings, padded breech. Okay, and then we'll go padded breeches. All right, so that's all of those. Um, now what do we call the...
What do we call the other artifact that summons lightning? AoE lightning, basically. Thundercaller? Or is that too cringe? I mean, I like the idea of Thundercaller, maybe. We'll go with Thundercaller. Let's see how our particles do. What in the world? So I guess damaging in the right area, but the particles are over the place. Wrath of Faerith. No reference to Zeus at all. Like what the heck? I gotta figure out why these particles are so weird. I mean, he seems to be summoning while well, doing damage in the right area. Wait, what? Okay, I should remove Wither. I used Med, not Purify. That's why. Wrath of Faerith. I like that. So we got Wrath of Faerith. What item is it behind the scenes? A copper ingot. Let's do a copper ingot. Okay, and then I gotta pull this back up so I can get these names. Okay, then clogs. Um, this was named for a headpiece. I don't like that name. I don't like that name one bit. I don't like this name either. All right, but I guess all of our ideas down. Charmer criticality. 12.5% to double damage, just like Trick. Mm. Do I do? No. <laughs> I have a webcam on your house. <laughs> wow. All right. I wasn't expecting that question today. So, yeah, I think I have some better names when we get to end to these. And we need a uh, lore too. Oh, excuse me. I have hiccups really bad. Bro, is not the smartest among this group? Uh, that's probably a pretty fair assessment. Okay, so this one needs a custom model data. We'll leave it at one. 
Wrath of Faerith. Copper ingot, one. Active, what's the active ability called? We don't care about that. Damage. Is that fair? I have no protected characteristics, Neros. I am as white bread as it gets. Which, my understanding of that phrase is that we're all clones. All white people are exactly the same. And you have no excuses. Let me tell you one thing. What do you got, Neros? One day. Day one. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to think how to word this. Uh, I, we can just probably call it. Call it Faithless Wrath. Bottom G? What? I gotta look that one up on Urban Dictionary. Oh my god. Okay, Shark, you're banned. Put user in timeout. 10 seconds. Confirm. Uh, one magic. It's a reference to Andrew Tate. Okay, it might be a reference to Andrew Tate. Just Google it right now. Just Google it right now. <laughs> Whether Andrew Tate said it or not, just Google it right now. What's what's the top search result? Urban Dictionary. Um. It really comes up as entertaining. It sure does. Actually, Neros, I get what you're picking up. Well, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Got him. Alright, mag the one magic faith could cast um, was proficient in was... What do we call it? What's a mystical name? Uh, we'll just call it lightning. It's lightning. A fragment of his electric wrath still lingers inside this gemstone. How is that for flavor text? You actually found other troll memes? Okay. I didn't look very far, obviously. Okay, sorry, let me make this buildable. So why are the particles so far off? I have an idea.
we're gonna try this. And so my theory behind it is that maybe location is getting mutated by the ad. And so like it's kind of going off on like a chain to like teleport super far away. Um, it's not a good theory, but sorry, I gotta scroll up a little bit. Oh, you guys are talking about, I'm super confused. I'm actually going to close Minecraft. I got different Minecraft instances have different RAM usages on my computer. And um, I'm getting really close to actually running out of RAM. So I'm going to use the, um, the more RAM efficient one. Oh, sweet. It grabbed it automatically. So this is just like vanilla Minecraft or whatever. No mods, no add-ons to make it look pretty. Okay, so they're all added to the game correctly. That's awesome. Except for one. We are missing the one I wanted to test. Why are we missing the one I wanted to test? Um... Uh, get me out of here. Material cannot be null. What? But material isn't null. I don't want to talk about it, guys. I guess my first day back at work. I work at like 3 a.m. I, I don't want to talk about it. So I'm beat with this song. <laughs> that is pretty good. Oh. Where is it at? Material cannot be null. Material cannot be null. Then I'm getting scammed. Bro got chest ESP for all of the. Oh. I see what you mean now, Shark. Um, please don't near us. That's what I'm going to say to that. Um, wait, this is part of try catch. Did I misspell? I might have misspelled copper ingot. I'd do it actually too.
And let's fix this. We should um we should do a try catch for individual items, not universally. Uh do we need to? I'm changing my mind. There we go. So now when it fails, it won't kill the whole, the whole file. It's for aesthetic reasons. What a guy, man. Yeah. I got it, shark. Error executing command? What? Fine, I'll do it myself. Yeah, he's gone. All right, my items. All right, now I'm just getting upset. What the heck happened this time, guys? Okay. Material cannot be null. I think I misspelled copper ingot. What's that actually called? Copper underscore ingot. Copper underscore ingot. I'm not crazy, that should work. Why not Mythic Mobs? Uh, because I want to do it myself. Mythic Mobs doesn't let me do everything I want to do, too. It's like, how in the world... Like, why does this fail? Like, there shouldn't be a universe that this fails. And yet, it fails. There it is.
So I, I think this looks good. Oh, Electric Wrath. Need to add that. Invite me to the project, I'll help you. It is publicly available on GitHub. You don't need to be invited. And you can literally just copy all of it if you really wanted to. And then I gotta make a, um, a new item here. I'll do it literally exactly the same. And then where do I register the event listener? Okay, there we go. So last use, call when the player interacts. Wrath of Faerith. Item use, the items on cooldown, last use, UAU ID. Um, I don't need all of this. And I don't need this. I can do RPG player, RPG equals player manager dot get by UU ID. Uh, and we're gonna have a list of friendly targets essentially. Um, yeah, friendly caster targets. All right, then RPG.get. Okay, player. I right, get nearby entities, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0. That for each. If the entity is not an instance of a living entity, we are going to return. And we're going to cast this to living entity. And then um, if We need to basically check if this entity is a friendly caster target. Which isn't super easy to do right now. Okay, so for for friendly caster targets, friendly dot put r dot get player. Sorry, get a uh, bucket player. So then if Currently contains E, return, else, E dot strike. Oh, come on, please tell me there's a strike method. Uh, 
Lightning strike event, strike lightning location. Ah, uh, come on. Yes, okay. Strike lightning effect. I think. I am probably going to have to... Probably I have to get this finished tomorrow, not today. Okay, sweet. And this should actually do it. Minus, I'm wanting this to be a copper ingot. I like guess 100% what it is, right? Yeah, it even shows up as a material. Yeah, we're going to try it. Any bets? Does it work? Like, what? Is there just... Like, what? Sorry, I'm just like super confused because like, like we look in Minecraft and this is literally what it says when you hover over, I can search the spigot API and it's like, yes, there is an item by the name of copper ingots. And then it just like doesn't load and it's like, what in the world? Why? Fine. It's a stick for now. I'll figure it out later. Abilities. All right. Archie, give math. We need a fair spawn one. Go to this one. Um, RPG give math. Faerith. Wrath of Faerith 1. And we'll 
carry a gemstone, and we'll use one of these too. So we have both casting effects. Which, this one doesn't work. Or does it? Why are you... Why are you this way? Why are you this way? I am super dumb. I am super dumb. Like, copper ingot, of all items for, like, spigot to have issues with, like, I don't know, maybe I'm spelling it wrong. That have pasted in five bajillion times. Oh well, I'll figure, about it. I'll figure it out later. Math, lower the price of spruce to... Unfortunately, the economy does not go that finely precise, Jasky. Oh, please. There we go. Oh wait for this guy to cool down. So we got this one, which clearly works, albeit probably underpowered. And then we got lightning. Welcome back, Grant. I have a lightning stick now. I am very proud of it. For some reason, I can't make it copper though. I want to make it copper. Unfortunately, Faerith is not getting released today. I got too many more things I gotta do. I wanna show off the item though here in a sec, hopefully. I'll be back tomorrow to work on it more. And um, might be faster if I do it off stream, but I'll do it on stream. Maybe I get a copper rod. I want it to be a copper ingot, and then I want to change the custom model data. But for whatever reason, Spigot's looking at the copper ingot text, and it just, it just derps out. It doesn't understand. It's like, what is this material? <gasps> yes, the particles work. I was right, location plus add does mutate it. That is kind of dumb, but it does mutate it. Four days grand? I mean, honestly, yeah, probably four days. Four days is probably more of an honest estimate than I can give. This was a plugin I had to make for somebody. Oh, 
All right. Oh. Log on to the server real quick. See if anyone needs anything, and I'll be done. I charge way too little for plugins, Grand. I'm like, I'm actually probably going to stop doing them. Just because I charge so little. Like, I think for that one, I might have charged like 10 bucks or something. Just a crust core. Wait, what? It's got a, it's got an indent on the start there. I gotta fix that. What do you want, ASCII? All right, it seems like everything's doing fine unless ASCII's got something real quick. Why do I need to be out of Vanish? I like Vanish. Vanish is incredibly nice. Ooh, my back actually hurts a lot. Ouch. I think I sit in the chair in a bad way. Are you not on stream, Asky? If you're on stream, you could see where I'm at. Oh, he's getting close. It's getting close. He found it. Where are we going? What are we doing? Ooh, that's a nasty screw. Out of vanish. Ooh, that's. I should probably go to the chiropractor. All right, what do you got, Asky? Oh my god, he's giving me a ton of shulker boxes. Thank you, Asky. And an elytra? Do you have like a home in the end or something? Yeah, okay. I feel a little better about accepting them then. Thank you for the elytra. Thank you for the shulker boxes. They are going to be immensely helpful. Oh no, it's spring loaded. Uh, I didn't see where the springs go. And it's greased. Oh, okay. Thanks for stopping by. It's been a good stream. I unfortunately have, um. I unfortunately have grease on my fingers now. So I have to clean that up and fix my chair. But uh, we'll try a stream tomorrow. Sorry, I ended up taking a nap today. Hopefully my sleep schedule will be a little bit better uh, as I get used to working again. But um, yeah, until next time, take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.